So for this video, we're going to see how we can calculate sample variance. But even before we begin that, let's define a certain sample, just so we have some concrete numbers we can work with. So let's say you in interview a college campus and you ask five students how many hours they study a day. And the students tell you that one of them uh, studies one hour, another one three, another one six, another one two, another one eight. And let me go ahead and divide those out with commas so we don't confuse them together. And when you define sample variance, here I'll write it to the right of that, it's usually defined as s squared is equal to the sum of the x of i terms minus the mean, that's all squared, kind of condensing that in the corner there, all over n minus 1, where n is the number of terms. So let's break that up into uh, a set of columns here, which we'll be able to figure out all the terms here, and we'll put them all together at the end. But just as a reminder, the x squared term here is the sample variance. And so let's break it up in the first column. We just call that we we'll just call that x of i, which is basically just going to be all our terms that we see going down, or up here, 1, 3, 6, 2, 8. Now, the term we see up here in the corner, the x of, or the mean, the x with a line above it, uh, we can define the mean as equal to the sum of all the x of i terms, which is basically our sample, all the hours that we're taking, uh, all divided by the number of terms we have, which we'll call n. So, if we take all the numbers that we have, the 1, the one plus 3 plus 6 plus 2, with the snake and the 8 up here, now that's kind of messy, but essentially what we're doing is we're just taking the sum of all of these terms right here. So, all of that is going to be over n, which is the number of terms. If we count up, we still have five terms here. And so I kind of squish that up together. But if we take all the terms that we add up, uh, the 8 plus 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 2, uh, we get 20. And that's all going to be divided by 5. And that equals 4. Great. That's quite convenient for us. Make the math a lot easier for us. So we'll just add another column for the mean here, which is basically just one value, 4. I'm just going to add that down here. Now the next term we're going to add is we're going to take the x of i terms minus uh, the mean, which is basically taking this, subtracting it from the x of i terms here, basically subtracting them. So the 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And don't worry if you get negatives, that's actually what you're supposed to get. Well, they'll all cancel at the end, we'll see. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. 6 minus 4 is 2. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And 8 minus 4 is 4. And a great way for you guys to check whether you did that step correctly is if you add up all of these terms going down this column here should all equal zero. So that's a nice checkpoint for you guys to figure out whether you guys did that step correctly. And uh, for the next column here, let me make some room here so we'll be able to compare them much more easily. I want everything compacted. So for the next, next column, uh, let's see. Let's go with green here. We get the x of i term minus the mean, we're going to square that. So basically all we're doing is we're taking this term right here and we're just going to square that. So the negative 3 squared becomes positive 9. Remember all negatives becoming positive now. The negative 1 squared is 1. The 2 squared is 4. Negative 2 squared is 4. And 4 squared is 16. Okay. So now if we add up all of these numbers, 9 plus 1 plus 4 plus 4, that's 18, plus 16, that's 34. 
So what we did here is we actually took the sum of this term right here, which is actually this term up here in the numerator here for our sample variance. So now we can see that S squared, let me just write down the equation one more time, is the sum of the X of I terms minus the mean all squared divided by the number of terms which is n minus 1. Here we able to figure that this is actually this term right here is 34 and the n which was the number of terms here we can see that we have exactly five terms so we can put that here for n 5 minus 1 and we get 34 divided by 4 and uh, basically our s squared term sample variance uh, let me get figure that out on the calculator real quick is 8.5 so decent decimal and if you wanted to figure out the standard deviation which if I don't lose my pen there uh, yes if you take just the s term by itself that's standard deviation and we can figure that out here sorry, I dropped my pen again okay, well, we get the standard deviation so if we take the square root of this term right here we can get our s term isolated and that we get for the square root of 8.5 I can pull out my calculator here. It's about 2.91. And that's our uh, standard deviation. So we can see how useful this formula up here can be because not only does this formula, you know, it's kind of messy now with all the writing around it, but this formula right here, we were able to determine the mean the sample variance, and the standard deviation, which makes this formula quite useful. Hopefully you enjoy that video. Thanks for watching.